A good friend of mine, Kenny Burns, always says the dream is real. And but he's much smoother with it. He be, the dream is real. And I love that. I love that statement. I love everything about it because, like, if you believe, and I mean truly believe, believe down to the core of yourself, believe with every fiber of your being, and you are fearless and committed enough to go after it, the dream, or scratch that, your dream, your dream is real. But you got to believe it. But far too often, we give people, like other people, people who are not even successful themselves, we allow their opinions and their small-minded view of us become our reality. We start buying into what they think of us. Why? Why would you ever do that? Like, you've heard them before. You know, you know they'll tell you, oh, well, you're a single mom. You've been a stay-at-home mom for some time. And, you know, you should apply for this entry-level position. Or you have a high school diploma. Or you only have your GED. So these are the types of positions that are available to you. Or you've been locked down, you've been away for some time, maybe you should go get a trade because blue collar work, that kind of suits you. Like, what? Like, he, you're really telling me what suits me. Just because people don't see you for who you have the capacity to become and only can see you with who you are now does not make this small-minded view of you your reality. Don't allow anybody to ever put you in the box. And better yet and more important, don't ever put yourself in a box. I was watching this throwback interview earlier today from The Breakfast Club. This interview was like 2013. And Kanye West went up there and he was doing his normal Kanye West shenanigans and he was on his rant and his tirade. Now, his, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't agree with Kanye's red hat. I don't agree with his politics. But truth is, I love this delusional, this, and I mean delusional in the best sense of the word. I love this delusional quality of himself that he has. He was up there, like at that time he was beefing because he was in this deal with Nike and they had put out like one or two iterations of his sneaker and he went to ask them like, well, when is the next sneaker coming out? And they were like, well, we don't know, we'll get back to you. And he was pissed off like, yo, didn't y'all make money with me? Didn't no sneaker sell? But sometimes things are not happening to you. They're happening for you because <clears throat> that was 2013. By the end of 2013, he goes into this deal with Adidas. And, you know, he does the Yeezys with Adidas. And I read this article right after I watched the interview. And the article said that the Yeezys are on pace to do $1.5 billion in sale by the end of 2019. But Kanye refused to let anybody put him in a box. He believed like, like to the point where it was delusional. That whole interview, he was like, y'all not going to tell me what I can do and what I can become. And he was going back to the early days of his career when everybody, like Kanye was a wicked and a dope beat maker, but everybody was like, stay in your lane, be a producer. And he wanted to rhyme. And he would not quit until Dame Dash gave him that deal. And finally, as we all know, Kanye has put out platinum record after platinum record after platinum record. It. And then, you know, he was like, yo, I want to go into apparel. I want to go into fashion. And people was holding him back like, no, no, no. Just be a recording artist. And Kanye was like, you can't tell me what I'm going to be. And you got to respect that about him. And I'm saying that to all of you who are out there. I don't care what your walk of life have brought you to up into this point. If you see yourself doing more, I don't care if your mama don't believe. I don't care if your wife don't believe. You go after it. Don't let nobody put you in the box. What if Jay-Z had, had let somebody just tell him, well, you're just a recording artist. Would he have ever had Rockefeller Records? If somebody would say, well, you're just a record exec. Would he ever have had um, rock aware or go on to have rock nation same thing with Puff if somebody would have told him you know just be a record exec I remember back in the days at the Source Awards um 
Suge Knight was like, yo, if you don't want no, you know, record exec dancing in your video and all that, come on over to death row. Well, guess what? Puck danced his way right to, to No Way Out and had a seven times platinum record with that. Then goes on to build Bad Boy Records to Greatness, goes on to, to Sean John Clothing and, and Sirac Baca and is living large right now. Don't let people tell you what you can become. Dream bigger. See yourself as you see and not how other people see you. Something for you guys to think about because I believe in the power of a dream. And I guess I'll end it with something Kanye West said in that video. Kanye said, I'm a professional dreamer. <laughs> and I ask you, Become a professional dreamer of yourself because you have the capacity to fulfill it. Peace and love make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.